All right, so what's going on YouTube? Frankly, since I have no clue on what the fuck I'm gonna be doing on YouTube or how to run it or the back office or whatever the fuck it really takes, right? I thought it was actually a really good idea to go ahead and actually ask people that I know, right? That, you know, do YouTube. They got a good amount of them. They got a good amount of followers. People watch this shit. I don't even have a first video. This is gonna be the first video. So, I actually went ahead and took the time to ask them on what the fuck it is I'm supposed to be doing or how to do it in general. I went ahead and actually did something like a podcast with my two friends and I'm going to leave a link to their channels below. Today I'm actually going to be showing you, you know, what it really takes to actually be on YouTube when you're a noob. Like me! So, without further ado, let's go. What's going on everyone? My name is Andrew Howell, right? Coming from Howell Productions. <laughs> Still a work in progress, frankly. Now, I'm actually just a noob to YouTube, right? So I got my good friends Linda and Josh here to help me out. Nice to really you. good professionals. Right? Why don't you guys go and tell them a little bit about yourselves and what do you guys do on YouTube? After you. Okay, so my name is Linda, aka The Gamer Girl. I have a channel that's about gaming, so I'm going to put my two cents into this podcast and we'll go from there. Uh, and I'm Josh from uh, Talking with Josh and the Art of Josh Rotero on YouTube. Uh, and I'm also here to give my uh, opinion on the subject matter. So. Okay, cool, cool, guys. So, frankly, the main thing that a lot of YouTubers have when they're first starting off right, is the fact of, you know, what the hell do you frankly get into, right? And also, where do you even find out good information about that? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I guess, like, I'm, well, mainly... I'm sure you go after your passions and everything, you know, like you're into video games and everything and you like to draw and give your opinion, yeah. Yeah. right? For me, basically, I like to debunk bullshit. <laughs> so that's why I'm here. So okay. the thing is, it's Fantastic. like, where in the hell do I even find out good information on YouTube to even like start this? Basically, YouTube channels. YouTube channels is the way to go. Like you can Google or search anything and find it. It's out there. They're free. You don't need to pay for anything. My uh, favorite channel to watch is Roberto Black. He is a YouTuber who helps other YouTubers grow. He has Friday health videos, and pretty much what they do is look at them, and it starts off with zero to 100 subscribers, the do's and don'ts of YouTube, how to build your channel. And if you listen to what he's doing, you'll grow. I started off at zero, and I've been using what he's been telling me to do, and I've grown, and I'm steadily growing, because, like, frankly, I don't have the tools that he's asking for. Mm -hmm. But if you fully commit, you can grow with his channel. And you don't need to pay $400. Like, that that intro of, hey, I'm so-and-so, and I've done this, and I've grown other people from their hobby to real life. That's crap. You don't need to pay $400 for a seminar to build up anything. It's just go to those channels. He even tells you other channels to follow that will help you out and don't pay anything. Just just flat out don't pay anything until you know what you want. So that's pretty much my two cents on that. Do you have some change you want to throw this way? Uh, yeah, it's funny because you mentioned that because I actually just uh, came from Kinko's not too long ago and I literally saw a pamphlet on just how to set up your YouTube channel. Why would I want to spend any money on that if you can just go on YouTube directly and get that information right there? I mean, they have TED Talks, they have all, all these different resources, including Blake, as well as yourself. You've been helping me out try to uh, get my channel up and running since I've been on a long hiatus. So why, why would you even bother spending money when you actually have all, all this resource online? I mean, Seriously. And there's yeah. another app. Uh, we all know about this app. It's called the Meetup app. It's pretty much free. You can find other YouTubers online with that app, and it takes literally zero dollars. You just set up, and you pr just put your profile on there, and then from there you can see what YouTubers are in your area, and they'll go from there. Like literally. Like I, I know you use that app. Oh the yeah, day. absolutely. Like, I did. Mm -hmm. I like I it's found a meetup. Thing. Yeah. Like there was a meetup going on in Miami that I can't make. But I wanted to go to it, but I, I, I recommend that app for anybody. Mm -hmm. I gotta check that out then. Oh yeah, definitely, man. It actually comes in real handy. You can find any niche or anything that really? you like to do on there. That's there's cool. there's one for nerds who want to do D and D. There's oh. one for um, <laughs> literally like 50 plus that just want to hang out. Like there's anything. That's cool. Yeah. 
if you want to go to the beach with somebody. Seriously? Yeah, seriously, bro. Just, wow. you, if you want to grab a drink with somebody, but you don't want to go through the things of like actually, you know, making a friend, <laughs> you can go right on there, bro. You're and good it's to not go. A date now. Like, yeah, it really isn't. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, gotta check that out then. Yeah, they, they have an app, or they can just use the desktop. It's oh, okay. the same way. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. So the also what I wanted to know is, is like how do you guys actually deal with like nerves, like and being nervous and everything at that on camera, or just even doing what you have to do for your channel? Like, does it ever get in your way, or does it stop you from doing anything? Yes, all the time. Because I'll talk about a subject matter that I'm like, ooh, this is bad. I'm gonna get flack for this, and then everybody loves it. Mm -hmm. So what I did was Roberto said, I'm gonna quote Roberto, consistency. If you suck at something, just turn on the camera and talk. Literally, that's what I do. I turn on the camera and I talk for like an hour. And then I'll take all that and edit it down to like a five, ten minute video. And then I'll see what didn't work for me. Like, because it's just, like even with speech, like like I, I took a speech class 101 and he was like, literally like, you need to get up here and just do it. Mm -hmm. I don't care how horribly you fail, just get up here and do it. And I would fail horribly, and then you go, okay, so what did you know that you did wrong? And I go, well, I kept saying, um, I kept saying this, I kept, like, tick, my nervous ticks. Mm -hmm. And he goes, well, okay, so think about not doing anything like that. Like, clear your mind. And I cleared my mind, and the next time I did my video, I was just talking. I was, I was passionate about something I was talking about, and I was just like, oh, crap, I talked for, like, 30 minutes with no nervous ticks, no nothing, no stuttering. Because mm -hmm. I was just not caring what I was saying. I was legit like talking to a friend like I'm talking right now. Right. I was like, okay, so I'm just talking to a friend. That's what I think of. Like I'm literally like talking to like 30 people who are watching my video or five people who are watching my video. Those five people, I'm telling them something. So that's what I do. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, with me, uh, I uh, because I'm planning on starting a, a podcast myself for awkward people. Especially awkward artists who have a hard time actually breaking out there. So the way I tend to handle it is, if if you're awkward or nervous or self-conscious about um, doing the YouTube thing or putting yourself on camera or recording yourself and you get self-conscious, oh, I, I um, be bad on purpose. If you're gonna if you if you if you're freaking out that you're gonna fail, you're gonna look like a fool. Which you know runs through a lot of people's minds. It's be a fool on purpose. You know, have fun with it. And even if you think that you're you're, you're going to be laughed at, honestly, everyone has an opinion. And you know, and because everyone has an opinion, if you keep on listening to everyone's opinion about everything, you're just not going to get anywhere. You're not going to grow, and you're not going to be able to show your passions by making the video that you want to make so fail harder fail fall forward instead of falling backwards on anything just just enjoy the ride make yourself a fool on purpose make it purposefully awkward so you just accept the awkwardness that you have you know it's just like yeah. be awkward on purpose and that that's how I tend to deal with it. it's just like I'm awkward it feels weird. I get awkward and I get silent at sometimes, but you know what? Get used to the awkwardness because it's gonna follow you your entire life. So just, just take it. Yeah, and also another point is if you stop thinking, you'll keep making videos. Because one time I was literally like running out of content. Like if you look at my channel, for a while there I was on a hiatus like you. Mm. And I realized I just need to stop thinking. Like I was like overthinking like topics and stuff like that. And if I just needed a filler video, I was just like, okay, well, let me just look at my surroundings. What's going on in, in, in the news today? And I would look and I'd be like, seriously, they're censoring that video game today. They're, they're doing this to this. I would, I would think of like, let me twist it on. And also I expanded something that I never thought of doing. Like I was like, well, I've always wanted to do that. Why not just try it? If it's horribly bad, it's horribly bad. And that's the first learning experience I ever had. All horrible videos should be learning experiences. If you don't learn from that horrible video and you keep doing the bad thing and people in your comments are telling you that is bad, here's how to fix it, and you don't fix it, you're going to lose your audience. So keep in mind, you need to think about what they're telling you 
it, as long as it's not you're stupid, you're horrible, you 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 suck at this, why are you this? It's like as long as it's like, hey, yeah, there, this is the, what you need to fix in this op application. Then you go, okay, that's constructive criticism. They just told me something that I need to fix. I'll work at it. Like if your outro, they're saying your outro is too long, your intro is too long, fix it. Make it down like five minutes, like do one minute, like 30 seconds, whatever they were asking. So that way you grow with your audience and they grow with you and you actually build a community. So don't think about it, but listen to what they're, what they're telling you. Cool, cool. Well, guys, I mean, after this point, I feel like anybody can frankly just start a YouTube channel. Yeah. Exactly. Anybody can. I mean, really. Not really. think now when it comes to the first video do not put too much stress on it right you know you're just getting into it just like I am and you know there's a lot of things to think about there's a lot of things you have to focus on there's a lot of things that might not even come out that you might even realize within the first video but just remember that is completely okay the main objective is to actually just get out there and do something. So, I want to open up the opportunity for anybody completely starting YouTube. You might be a beginner, an amateur, depending on whatever field that you're in. Go ahead, scroll down a little bit into the comments and add what you think you would do different in this video to actually make it better, make it different, or even just put your own personal twist on it. Remember, there's no wrong answers. It's only just the fact of, what would you do different? What would you do to your video that would make it special? Thank you guys. Make sure to hit that like button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.